Hey everybody, I'm John Lindsay with Arkissippi Smoke Live and the All Cued Up Competition Steak and Barbecue Team. You know, when I was a kid, one of my favorite times of the year was at my grandma's house when the corn got ripe and she made that old fashioned skillet corn. Well, today I'm gonna make my take on that dish that was so good so long ago. Old fashioned Southern style skillet corn brulee. Come along with me, I'm gonna show you how it's done. Today I got my awesome new cutting board from J Buck Woodworking and it is so beautiful. And this is, recipe is actually gonna call for four years of corn. Got some good corn, it's really pretty, fresh, just coming off. So I've already cut three of the ears off and milked the cob and we're gonna show you how we do that. We like to use a large bowl and so when we do, keep your knife moving, not straight down, but cut as you go, just like that and cut all the kernels off the cob. So folks, if you've never scraped the ears on your corn, you're missing the most sweet part of this corn. Now it's gonna get messy, but uh, man, it makes a whole bunch of difference. So we're just gonna take the back of our knife and scrape the cob and get all that juice out of that corn. And I promise you, it'll add to your dish. All right, I've got about three strips of bacon that we're gonna add to our pan. And we're gonna brown these up and all we're gonna do is just get a little bacon fat going and get these crisped up. And we want them almost crispy before we put anything else in here with it. All right, once our bacon bits have got almost crispy, what we're gonna do next is add about an eighth of a cup of sweet red bell peppers. We're gonna start sauteing those around. And then we're gonna add about an eighth of a cup of a sweet Vidalia onion. As you see, the bacon didn't render a whole lot of grease or fat, but we're gonna add about a tablespoon of butter into this and let it start to melt down. And once it starts melting pretty good, we're gonna add our corn that we've got ready to go and we're fixing to put that in right now. So we're gonna keep stirring until we cook this corn down and it's gonna to start to get a little bit brown from the butter and all that fawn coming off the bottom, it'll release some juice here in just a minute. We're about 10 minutes in cooking our corn and you can see it's getting good and golden brown. Now I have to confess, you have a lot of fond on that bottom and what I like to do in the middle of cooking it, put a little bit of water in there like that and then you can work all that good fond right off the bottom and man that's flavor. And we've done that periodically through this cook and just kept cooking it down. Okay, I'm gonna put a good tablespoon of my all queued up state line bowl. And I'm just gonna measure it out in my hand. We got a tablespoon of that. We got another good tablespoon of the big red beef. It's a great product to go in stuff like this. And then also we're gonna add about another tablespoon of hotty toddy. And that is the 38 special. And now we're gonna cook this down just a little bit more before we add our cheese but she's seasoned up and looking good. It's gonna start smelling now. But folks, here's a moment of truth. This is heavy whipping cream, and we use it for a lot of stuff, but we're gonna put it right in here, and this is gonna be a quarter of a cup, and this is gonna make it pretty rich. One of my favorite parts of this recipe is this queso fresco cheese. I've got about a half a cup that's gonna go in here, and man, you're talking about making it rich and creamy. It's gonna do the trick. Today I'm cooking on my Smoking Brothers Premier 30 Plus, and I'm gonna tell you something, these are awesome American-made grills, made right up here, up the road in Southeast Missouri, and they're awesome. Now I've got this one turned up about 220 degrees. It's giving a really good smoke bath, and I'm gonna run this corn for about 30 minutes like that, and then I'm gonna ramp the temperature up to about 350 until we get it where we need it. Look at the smoke coming out of this Smoking Brothers. It's going great. Got a little meatloaf on there right now. We'll have it after a while. We're gonna take this and set it right down here on the cool end and let it get a smoke bath. Yeah, I've already peeked at this corn, but I wanna tell you it's exactly right and I wanna show you how I know that it's the perfect temperature and how it's completely done and ready to eat. Now, we've cooked it on the Smoking Brothers, 350 degrees. If you look at it, it's good and bubbly. All the liquid is pretty much gone out of it. Now, if you take this and you move it like that, 
and you see there's not a whole lot of liquid in there. It's just a little bit and that's what you want. This corn's done. Well, we brought our corn in and we've put it in a little ramekin here that we're gonna serve it in. Now you can serve these individual style. I've only got one here today, but of course you can get the larger ramekins or the smaller serving size and make individual brulees if you want to. Now the inspiration for this to become a brulee with this skillet corn is from Brad Leininger and getting basted. If you've never been to one of their restaurants, man, they've got some awesome skillet corn brulee or corn brulee and I love it. Every time I go, that's my side order. So we're gonna get this sugar on and we're getting ready to get her browned up and torched up. Now this is my favorite part. Let's get this thing torched up and see if we can't get a crust on our brulee. Boy, I like that sound. We just got our brulee done and it looks awesome. Uh, we're getting ready to try this thing, and man, I love this stuff. Just like Grandma used to make it, except with a twist on it. Get that crunch in there, a little bit of that sugar on top. You can see what we're working with. Let's get us a good bite of it. Mm -mm -mm. Try this recipe. You're going to like it, especially put it on your grill outside, and you're going to go back time after time, and it's going to be a staple side dish at your house. I'm John Lindsay, Arkissippi Smoke Live. We'll catch you next time. Hey everybody, thanks for watching today's video. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do so. Just click right here. Be sure and follow us on all of our social media outlets, including our website at steakrubs.com. To watch our latest video, be sure and click right here. I'm John Lindsay, and I'll see you down the barbecue trail.